So now that we know what kind of tortilla we're working toward, let's start with cooking. Cooking is a step before nixtamalization. It's key to making nixtamalization possible. The goal of cooking is to soften the skins and the corn just enough so that it absorbs that alkaline solution that it's sitting in and it can start to do its magic. Um, in order to do this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna measure out exactly 1% of the calcium hydroxide that we're using today to the weight of the corn that we're gonna be cooking. So in this case, we're working with a pound of corn one pound of corn is 16 ounces, so 1% of that is about 0.16 ounces. So it's just about right. Um, and then I'm gonna start actually in kind of making a slurry out of it. So this is just to make sure it's evenly incorporated, it doesn't get clumpy. Um, you know, you're gonna end up filling the entire pot with water anyway, so this is really just to make sure it's kind of well incorporated um, and blends in nicely with a whole pot of water. Great, so at the end, it should kind of look like this milky substance. Our cow's been incorporated. And then I'm gonna measure out the one pound of corn that we were talking about. I'm gonna add the slurry directly to the pot over the corn. And then I'm gonna to top it off with water. There's no real measurement on this in terms of how much water to put. It's really just kind of a factor of thinking through how much the corn is gonna absorb. So you gotta probably make sure you have a couple of inches, maybe like two to three inches of water above the corn level giving yourself enough room for it to kind of expand, take on that water, but not be um, kind of out above the surface of the water later on. All right, so now that we have just enough water to top off the corn with a couple inches, we're gonna bring this up to high heat. And once it starts to boil, take it down to medium temp so it can not too aggressively cook the corn. Um, this will probably take anywhere between 20 minutes to 60 minutes to get to the point where the skins are soft enough, where they're kind of rubbing off between your fingers. Um, and if you take a bite of it, the corn should taste al dente. So that's what we're gonna be looking for once this gets up to temperature. So I haven't really been checking the time. I think it's been about 20 to 25 minutes. The more important thing that I've been doing here is I've been constantly testing the corn to see how done it is. The two things I'm looking for are making sure that when I take a kernel and I rub it between my fingers, the skins are really easily coming off. And I'm also gonna check and taste a kernel, compare it to the one that I had in the very beginning. By this point, it should definitely start to bloom and smell and taste a little bit more like a finished tortilla. And the bite is definitely al dente. Again, it's not like powdery and gritty like that raw seek that we had it in, but it's definitely getting close to being like perfectly cooked. I could probably estimate that there's another 20% left of cooking and that's gonna happen with just letting the heat turn off and letting it soak. Again, you're not gonna get that temperature down to, you know, resting ambient temperature 70 degrees really quickly unless you add ice, which you can do. I'm just taking it off a little bit earlier so it has a little bit more room to cook develop some of those flavors a little bit more, and we're gonna let it soak for eight to 12 hours. As I'm checking for the texture and the skins, I'm just gonna take some time to skim the surface and take off any unwanted kernels in the process. Um, any unwanted kernels are gonna float up to the top because they're a little less dense. So just periodically check the surface and make sure that there's nothing kind of hanging out at the top. And if there is, just take it off with a little strainer.